This cookie of the month is an all-time classic that I think every American loves to have in their home. There are so many debates on what makes the perfect chocolate chip cookie, and while I'm not going to claim to have the ultimate and best one out there, I think it comes pretty close. This is also a basic that I think everyone wants to have in their kitchen, a go-to recipe that all kids will love and that you always can make on a whim or when you're having people over. It's just the perfect cookie. To start, you want to cream together some butter and some vegetable shortening. Chocolate chip cookies can be completely different whether they have vegetable shortening or butter, and I think a little bit of mix of the two really makes a great cookie. Cream it together until it's incorporated, and then add some brown sugar and some white sugar. I love the addition of both of these sugars. It adds some deeper flavor with the brown and a little bit lighter texture with the white. Next, you want to add your eggs and a little bit of hot water. I know it sounds weird, but it loosens up the batter just enough to give them a great texture. Of course, you need to add some vanilla for flavoring. And then flour, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. Both of these do different things in the cookie, and together they make the perfect cookie, a brown, crusty cookie with a soft and chewy interior. To finish these off, you just want to add in your semi-sweet chocolate chips. I think semi-sweet are the way to go with chocolate chip cookies. They're not too sweet like milk chocolate would be, and they're not too bitter like a bittersweet would be. They're just the perfect amount of sweetness and good chocolate flavor. And of course, the better chocolate chips you use, the better you will really have in the end with your cookie. Using a cookie scoop is really the easiest way to make these. Just scoop them out onto a pan, and then bake them in a preheated oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. I usually find that 11 minutes is perfect in my oven, but every oven is different. And so you wanna wait till the outside edges are slightly golden and the center is still soft and light in color. Let them cool in the pan for about five minutes and then remove them, let them cool on the rack until they're fully cool. Of course, they're best enjoyed when they're just a little bit warm, but these freeze beautifully and can last for ages in the freezer, and you can pull them out when your kids come home from school or when you're having people over. They really are my go-to basic cookie. I think with this recipe, you will have one of the best chocolate chip cookie recipes in your repertoire. If you agree, make sure to click like below and leave a comment. I love to hear from you and how the recipes are going. If you want to be inspired with more great videos, click subscribe to join the Great Boxwood family. I can't wait to see you guys again.